The crisis in Fukushima is a stark reminder of the potentially deadly threat posed by nuclear power generation. But what's the reality? How dangerous is radiation? Could contamination in Japan spread here? And what's the worst case scenario? Matt Tinney has this reality check. It's happening in Japan, but we're feeling it here too. Oh, pretty concerning, yeah, it's pretty serious. Oh, I think everyone's concerned about the nuclear situation. But how worried should we be? Radiation is all around us, it's even inside us all the time, and it's perfectly natural and safe. To show you, we got this Geiger counter, similar to the ones they're using in Japan. And as you can see, right here in the centre of Perth, there's always background radiation. Have a look at this, we're at a fruit shop and we're going to put the Geiger counter on some bananas. Now, they contain potassium, which we need to live, but is also radioactive. And you can see the count there is going up. Even our beaches are radioactive. The sand contains traces of uranium. If we put the Geiger meter here, you'll see the count goes up. And for the most dramatic result, here's what happens when we go up to the War Memorial at Kings Park. It's made of granite. Granite is radioactive, but perfectly safe. And as you can see, the meter's going off. Every year, we're exposed to about 3.5 millisieverts of radiation. That's about 67 chest X-rays or 134 plane trips from here to Sydney. In order to get radiation sickness, you need to be exposed to 1,000 millisieverts at once. And for most people, a fatal dose is about five times that. Now, to put this into perspective, the radiation levels at the power plant in Japan have reached about 400 millisieverts. So you'd have to be exposed for about two and a half hours to get sick. But what about a worst-case scenario? a full nuclear meltdown. Will that affect us here? It would definitely be something that would only affect the local area. It's not something that would affect uh, general Japan and certainly not us here in Australia. Matt Tinney, Nine News.